Hey guys, so um, I'm doing a, a bit of an unboxing video. Um, this is my first unboxing video, so I'm not really sure on how to how is it to go about, but I hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Um, as you can see, this is a huge book, uh, one of my favorite books actually from the Star Wars library. It's called Dressing the Galaxy: The Costumes of Star Wars. It was released back in 2005 when Revenge of the Sith was released and they had a huge costume exhibit in Los Angeles at the FIDM Fashion Institution of Design and Merchandise and uh, this is one of my favorite Star Wars books of all time in fact I got into Star Wars through the costuming um, especially the costumes worn by Queen Amidala um, and obviously um, you know Natalie Portman portrayed her in all three of the prequels uh, so this book is absolutely beautiful. It comes with a replica of the um, uh, Obi belt uh, made from the same fabric that made one of uh, Queen Amidala's outfits from the first movie. It's absolutely beautiful. Just look, look at this. Look at the detailing. And obviously this is sidebar. Dressing a galaxy the costume of Star Wars. It comes with the embossed Naboo symbol which appeared in pretty much all of Padme's costumes and her handmaidens as well. So let's go and see what's inside. Look at that beauty, look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. So we have a replica of the Wookiee buckle belt from Revenge of the Sith. We have a DVD, that's Obi-Wan Kenobi from episode three. Um, uh, the image has been used. Um, it's a costume feature. We have a certificate of authenticity and it's um, you know, it's quite worded. Here you go, you can read it. And we have a replica, I'm sorry, not a replica, let, let me rephrase that. A uh, fabric sample of um, Darth Vader's cape. Um, so this is the fabric that was used to make his uh, cape in, um, for Revenge of the Sith. In Revenge of the Sith, I mean. As we all know, Darth Vader was portrayed by Hayden. Christensen in episode 3 and obviously with the recent news of him returning back to the Star Wars universe in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series I can't wait So I'm putting that back So he doesn't rip <laughs> Guys, I really hope this video is, um, is, is, is gonna be a good video. I'm not really sure how to do all this little unboxing videos my first time So do apologize if I'm a little slow So here's the book Can feel a little ribbon to pull it up I'm trying to do it with one hand. Give me a moment. <laughs> Let's see how we... Oh, perfect. Got it. Oh, it's a huge book. So this is the, the book. The huge hardcover book. And then we have the fabric sample. Swatches in here. And we have the digital costume book. Which features some of the digital characters in the prequels. So I'll give you a quick flip through that. So we'll have a quick look. So that's the back. Just General Grievous's cape. We have Jar Jar Bings. We have Yoda. We have the Yoda Pound characters. General Grievous again. Clone Troopers. Some of the Trade Federation Separatists. That's Yoda again. And the Kaminoans. The, uh, the clones. The Bulbar, Boss Nuss, and various others. So that's one of the books that comes in this huge uh, box set. And here, so let's have a look at some of the costume fabrics, shall we? So this is absolutely beautiful because it opens up into a whole new universe. Check this out. Oops. Like, come on. Look at that. Look at this, man. So we have Queen Amidala from episode 1, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi from episode 3, we have Padme's wedding dress from episode 2, we have a uh, Nimbodian Gunner from episode 3, Padme's green robe from episode 3, another Nimbodian aide from episode 3. Uh, show you some from the back, it's double sided. How do I do this? How do I do this? Bill Goner, Queen of Madala, Anakin Skywalker, Padme, and uh, Django Fett, some of the Handmaidens, Palpatine, Padme again. 
Yeah, so, I mean, some of the fabrics are not there, but some of the fabrics are there. So for example, this is Padme from episode three. You can actually feel the samples here. Look at that. That's velvet, one of my favorite fabrics. But some of the ones from the earlier episodes, like episode two, you can't actually feel it, anything, but this is, I guess, a, a little detail sample of how the outfits looks like. Beautiful. And uh, yeah, so let's take a look at the book, shall we? So let me put this in, and I got the ribbon back. Oops, it went out. Let's put this in. Ugh, who's book? So the book opens up into a it's a limited edition copy, and my copy is 20, oh, it's not zooming in, 27, and it's signed by Trisha Begar. Now, Trisha Begar is the costume designer of the, um, who designed the costume for all three of the prequels. So it's, um, it's, she's one of my favorite costume designers, obviously. So just have a look at some of the stuff in this book, shall we? So it's, it's split into a couple of chapters. We have six chapters here. So we have Jedi versus Sith, Royalty, Military Wearer, the Galactic Senate, we have Slave, Rose and Bounty Hunters, and Patna's Journey. And Welcome to Our Worlds, which is by Trisha Begar, and then we have, it's prefaced by George Lucas, prefaced I mean, and then it's forwarded by Rick McCollum, one of the producers. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Look how gorgeous this book is. Look at the conceptual art here. It's Anakin Skywalker. And what I'm trying to do is as fast as possible. Let's help you in Kenobi. Yoda, Miss Windu. Um, it's quite a good gin right here. It's a lot of paper and a lot of pages. That's Palpatine right there. Uh, Darth Sidious, I should say, sorry. And then we have um, the, 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 the inner folds, which opens up to the Jedi Council. Look at, this, look at this, absolutely beautiful, beautiful photography. I think one of the biggest highlights of this book, you know, is the photography that's, that that's went into it. Some detailed samples here, more paper, that Mr. Qui Gon right there, sharp T. Look at the detailing, absolutely amazing. More Jedi. Darth Vader, and then it comes with this little uh, sample booklet with some of the sketches from the original trilogy. And that's episode four, four and five there. And then we have stuff from episode three. Now remember um, that this um, Darth Vader in episode three was portrayed by Hayden Christensen. Uh, and the voice by James Old Jones. Dark Sidious. This outfit has a very interesting name. It's called the Elephant Grey outfit. Hmm, I wonder why. One of my favorite Dark Sidious' costumes. Dark Small is everyone's favorite. I wish there was more about him in terms of his, like, like in terms of images. That's all right, there's Crown Duke right there. Yeah, the binding is something that I'm not happy with, but, so that's why this book hardly gets opened. And then we have this, <laughs> which is basically shoes. Um, yeah, so that comes here. And then we have a little collage of all the Jedi's with the Sith. Royalty. It's right here. Conceptual art. Padme's throne room gown, probably one of the most recognizable costumes um, ever. And then we have some paper dolls. I just wish they had some of, uh, they have more of episode 2 ones and episode 3 ones, but they don't, so you know, that's unfortunate, but never mind. And that's Queen of Madala, and then the Queen of Naboo from episode 3. Look at the detailing, man, it's absolutely crazy. Her return to Naboo gown, or should I say travel gown 2, or travel gown 1, it's little Prince Flair right there. Look at the detailing, man. It's crazy. Ah, uh, one of my favorite costumes. 
worn by Queen of Dollar is a Senate gown. Now this outfit is absolutely ridiculous in terms of like grandeur. Everything about this outfit is amazing. Look, just look at the detailing. You know, one thing that really makes me angry is that Trisha Bigar was not even nominated for an Oscar. I mean, look at that. Dear Academy, what, what's up, man? <laughs> you guys should really give Trisha Bigar an honorary Oscar now. Some of the handmaidens. And the detail shots right there. Now, from what I understand, that this limited edition book is no longer available. So, um, to those who have it, you know, cherish it. Pat, pat me. More detailed samples here. That's the water gown, or the funeral gown, I should say. Just look at that, man. Look at this. Oh. You know, you can say whatever you want about the prequel trilogy, but you can't deny that the costumes are definitely amazing. Uh, Princess Leia's adopted mother, wife of Bill Organa. And then we have a collage right here. Military wear. Okay, now I'll speed up a little bit, okay? Conceptual art, Padme's arena outfit. And then we have the different versions of her outfit that have appeared throughout the... Um, this version was actually cut off, but they actually used this version as a mock-up model for the Clone Wars series. So as she, as she loses layers. Um, it's a very, a very fun way they actually did this. And then obviously this is what we see her when she um, battles with the, the little, the, the, what, the little tiger alien thingy from from episode two. I mean, even look at the fabric of the robe. Look how detailed that is. It's absolutely ridiculous, man. I mean, the work that's gone to it. <laughs> I just realized, like, Luke Skywalker is like her son right there. More, more Naboo, more Naboo uh, soldiers. We have the Wookiees. Crazy stuff. Let me look. Look at this. We do have a little in us, a uh, little booklet that features on the costumes of the original trilogy, but it's a little booklet. Uh, so I'll just flip through and it tells you. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Collage again, the Galactic Senate. And then you have, obviously, the different senators. Mostly, you know, Padme. Chance of Valorum. Padme again. That's Bailogana right there. Padme with her final... Uh, at her final Senate appearance, and then we have the Galactic Senate members. Uh, it's right here. More detailed samples. Bail Organa, one of my favorite characters, and I'm glad that he he came back in Rogue One. I really hope Jimmy Smith, um, I believe his name is, comes for the Cassian Andor show. I hope he makes an appearance. This costume was actually originally designed for Padme, but then George Lucas gave it to Bail Organa's um, aid. The peacock gown. The amount of work that's gone into this is amazing and it's kind of sad that this outfit never made it to the final film. But it was on the posters. Mont Mothma. She had two outfits by the way in episode 3. And the only one that was appearing on screen even from a distance was this one. Oops! The paper flew. Ah! Oh, paper's gone in. Never mind. I'll take that out, I'll take that out later. Her uh, Padme's Elizabethan uh, senatorial gown. From episode 2, delete the scene. Palpatine, or Supreme Chancellor, I should say, with his various different outfits. And then we have Newt Gunray. Oh, I hate this guy. More senators. More senators. Padme's robes. And then, uh, obviously, we have the collage there, and now we are Slave, Rogue, and Bounty Hunters. More... That's Anakin's mom, that's Anakin's stepbrother, and that's Anakin's stepsister-in-law. Plus, obviously, they get married sometimes after episode 2, I believe. Princess Leia right there. That, that guy, this guy played C-3PO, but he also played uh, an extra in episode 3 at the opera. 
That's George Lucas right there. This guy created the Star Wars universe. You know, we owe him a lot. Tatooine Extra, the Tuscan Raiders, Bounty Hunters, Jango Fett, Boba Fett. And this guy who played Jango Fett also played Boba Fett in the Mandalorian series. And he also played a bunch of clones in episode 3. The Cantina costumes, again, a little booklet, just like the original trilogy, costumes of the main characters. Absolutely stunning, look at this. And we have all of the collages. And now, my favorite is Padme's journey. Now, Padme is by far the most underrated Star Wars character out there. I mean, without her, there'll be no Luke and Leia, all right? And I think Natalie Portman gets a lot of flat for her role in Star Wars. I think she did an incredible job. And just let's look at her journey. Look at the detailing, man. Ah, oh, this dress. The picnic gown. And all of her beautiful headdresses. All of the amazing work that's gone into creating her uh, elaborate um, headdresses. Um, um, and hairstyles, I should say. I mean, look at that. Look look at the detailing. Look, just just look. <sighs> costume drama. This is proper costume drama, man. This is my mom's favorite um, outfit of hers. And it's very it's very medieval, if I should say. It, it feels like a period piece, like a futuristic piece. That's what Natalie Portman said in uh, one of the making offs. Now this costume was actually created by George Lucas. <laughs> I mean, look at that. And she suffered a lot. She said the corset was extremely tight. This is um, from a deleted scene. The poncho outfit, which has never been exhibited by the way. Her Tatooine outfit when she arrives. Her wedding dress. Now there's not many photos published of the wedding dress and um, I really hope they do, you know, in the future. Oh, love this outfit. Her veranda outfit. And then we have Padme from episode one when she was in disguise. More Padme stuff. Jewelry detailing. Uh, her veranda outfits right here. Nightgown, I should say. Veranda nightgown. Her Mustafa outfit. The, the Rebel Alliance outfit. Her Aqua Georgette nightgown and she's watching the burning of the Jedi temple and lastly her funeral outfit it also is also known as the water gown because it looks like you know she's in the water look at this and uh collager some postcards credits and the costume index and then some behind the scene stuff um oops that's a youtube ad right there i'm so sorry uh, some stuff from behind the scenes, uh, and then uh, it continues with the costume index. And it goes into the acknowledgements, and at the end of our unboxing video um, of this beautiful book, Dressing a Galaxy, the Costumes of Star Wars. Now, this is my favorite book of all time. And I think the Star Wars costumes are absolutely amazing. Um, and, I, and I'm and i sad that Trisha Bigger has never been nominated for an Oscar. I just hope that she gets some sort of um, honorary Oscar in the future for her contribution to the fashion costume industry. Um, yeah, so thank you guys. And I'm so sorry if this video is super long. It's almost 20 minutes long. Um, I know I'm, this is my first time trying out something like that. And I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and I'll try to do more uh, videos uh, such as these. Um, you know, I'm pretty busy with work, so I will try my best to do as much as I can. Maybe some of my older books are from my Star Wars library. I have a huge library out there. And um, yeah, so yeah. We'll, we'll be seeing you very soon in the Kenobi series, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Looking forward to see you, Mr. Ewan McGregor. Anyways, take care guys and uh, lots of love. Uh, be kind, stay happy, stay safe. You know, we are in such a, we, we, you know, we are in such, we're dealing with a pandemic right now. Please wear a mask, sanitize your hands, keep your distance and you know, be positive minded, be happy. Uh, you know what, may the force be with you guys always. All right, take care, bye.